looking at it. He's looking at it. I'm gonna lure it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We got a lot of fat there. He got on him. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today is another day here at the ranch, but it's completely dark out here as you can see. But the one amazing thing here about the ranch is that we have a bunch of fish inside of our hands and today we are going to go feed all the fish. The fish have no idea it is dark outside yet, obviously, because all the lights inside the building. That's one awesome thing that we have here on the ranch is this big old building. So we're gonna head over here and we're gonna go inside and it's completely dark outside. Look right to the left real quick. You got my boy Petrie just hanging out. He's a complete nocturnal animal, but we're not focusing on him. <laughs> <laughs> we're not focusing on him today. We're going inside the building. My boy's Willie's living his best life as well. Look at him. He's like, why am I still outside? I need to go inside the garage. But uh, let's get inside and let me show you how the fish are doing. So we're gonna start off with the stingray tank. But unfortunately, because Stingrays are very hard to take care of. I don't even know how to say it to you guys, how to explain to you guys what happened here. We had a spike one day, and actually the day that the spike happened was unfortunately my freaking birthday. So I woke up that morning, came out here to look around, and I saw the stingrays both dead. I didn't know what the heck happened. The water spiked up. I was doing water changes once a week, all this stuff. But I think what happened actually was the water that was getting tested from my machine was um, bad. The filters went bad. Hold on, my incubator is going off. So yeah, the, some freaking thing happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but the water spiked up. It freaking sucks. Stuff happened. People that keep fish, monster fish keepers understand that real monster fish keepers will understand that stuff happens with your aquariums every once in a while. And when stuff happens, fish die, things suck, stuff happens. It's just, it's just part of keeping fish. I have this little technology thing that's right over here. It's a very older one. It does not work, but I'm gonna be getting a brand new one. So that right there is gonna be actually gonna tell me everything about the tank it's gonna be a digital thing it's gonna be top of the freaking notch but I'm getting that first before I go out and getting any other stingers right now so I won't have any other problems in the near future but enough talking about that let's show you guys some happy freaking fish we got two flag tails in here and a large mouth bass that freaking thing is insane he's pretty freaking crazy he just eats all day long Oh, he's that big old camera in his face. There you go. He just bolts him up. Go, go, go. The flag tails eat more uh, pellets and uh, allergy wafers, but um, we'll give some of those in a sec. So we're gonna head over here. We have some real nice, good looking peacock bass growing up in here. We have a rib salt catfish in here. We have some uh, silver and blue mashirs, and then we have these two uh, albino, I think the Chinese barbs. I'm not, I forget the, what, put in the comments what are the names of these two fish right here. I got them from Predatory Fins. Most of the fish here, majority, 99.9% .9 of all the fish here in my fish building come from Predatory Fins. But um, yeah, let's go show you this real quick. Look at those peacocks, they just tear it up. These guys eat pellets and they eat fish, but I like to mix them up all the time. There's a mixture of shrimp and tilapia. And one good advantage that I have is that if you guys know about the pond that is out in the big uh, front of the building, there's a bunch of cichlids and tilapia growing in there. Those tilapia had a ton of babies. And that's a plus for me because when those tilapias get bigger, we're gonna catch those things up. We're gonna feed them right back to my monster fish throughout the whole gallery. Throw a couple more pieces over here. He wants some more. Oh, he missed it. Ooh. Let's see if you guys did. Oh, one more. Let's get the last one. Ooh, he got the last one. Look at that. Quick little pieces right there. We have a couple more that we're gonna throw for these peacocks. Look at this peacock mouth. Freaking filled to the rim. These guys get fed every other day. Every other day. They go through a lot of food. I'll tell you that. We'll go right there. The peacocks don't eat it. Somebody else will eat it. I'll tell you that. Everybody eats. Everybody always eats. But enough playing with the little fish. Let's start heading to some bigger fish. So inside of here, if you guys know, we have the Chinese Wells catfish. He is now actually starting to eat very, very well. So let's see if he comes and gets this food from me. So another piece. 
because he's been eating very well now. See those whiskers work. Better wait a second. He's looking at it, he's looking at it. Both whiskers are looking at it. He's smelling it up, but I don't think he's gonna be fun. We always keep the last pool pond to be the best of the best because they're just absolutely insane. No matter how many cameras and eyes are on them, they're freaking insane. They're insane, they're really insane. But before we head over there, I'm gonna go show you guys the smallest fish that is inside of this building. Because many people are asking, oh, did they die? Did platinum die? Platinum is our platinum beta fish that lives in his beautiful little mansion. That's a eh, two gallon little tank. Doing great, living his best life. Let me go show you platinum. You ready to see this guy? Oh my God, don't look at this, these are my future plans. Do not look at that stuff. That's all my plans for the ranch. But uh, right here, we got my little boy, my little platinum beta fish and he has his little hammock. We just do this, look. Just a little teeny bit. And then he comes up, look at him, eats it all up. Look at him, that boy's a beast. He gets little water changes every once in a while. You know, he lives his best life. He's a little centerpiece of attention on this beautiful round table here where all my plans get made throughout the whole entire ranch. But uh, let's go feed some more fish. Do you guys see this ladder behind me? We're hanging up some pictures. Well, what I'm trying to do is get pictures from different places that I've traveled all around the world and put my favorite one up top. That's at Miami and that is in California, San Diego Zoo. But uh, yeah, we got some monster fish in here. You guys didn't know Joey Slam had to remove his giant pool pond from his house and he brought some of his monster catfish here for me to watch over a little bit. That's his catfish kitty right there. She's a beast and a half. She comes up and I think pretty much eats out of your hand. I don't know. Oh my God, this is low key scary. Here, oh my God, we got a lot of fat fish. Come on, they smell it. They're going crazy. Woo, gulped it up. You got a tiger hybrid right there. He is beautiful. I'm gonna, oh my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that. That thing is, those things are crazy. <laughs> look at him going psycho over there. They are getting, they smell it in the water. Look at him go crazy. Oh, look, look, look. Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. Bro, he's out of the water. Joey, that fish is freaking dope. If you don't want these fish back, I'm keeping them. Like, they're not leaving here. That's a pretty cool fish. We actually had that fish before, way back then. We were, oh, we got it. It was staying here. It was with my Pyribia captain. Everyone's smelling the fish. They're like, oh my God, look at them. They're all over here right now. We have a false terrigerous catfish, platinum, red tail catfish, a Pyribia catfish. Everybody's right here. Let me grab some bigger pieces of tilapia and just, oh my. Goodness gracious, that is one reason why I dislike these freaking pool ponds for monster fish. These will be getting remade very, very, very soon. Uh, I'm getting a generator on the back of this building. While you guys are watching this fish, I'll talk a little bit. Getting a generator on the back of this building so that if any situation happening here, that generator turns right back on and we won't lose any fish from losing electricity. But what is becoming here very, very soon is a very large 8,000 gallon pond for all the fish to live together for right now until they get big enough and they grow that out. Hopefully they can live inside that 8,000 gallon pond for a probably about maybe two to three years. That's my goal, that's my hope. But if they grow bigger than that, we got enough room inside this building. This building is massive and it is going to be made for a very, very, very large pond. Thought ahead, thought my thinking, did my research, did everything and I got, I knew what I was getting my hands on. I knew inside this pond alone, we have one of the biggest biggest fish in the entire world right over there and he needs a giant pond i have permits for him he needs to have permits for living in florida and uh, i thought before i get this fish he needs a massive pond so that's the reason why we got this freaking humongous humongous building so that we can have monster fish in the future well they're here they're growing but yeah every other day these guys eat they get the tilapia they get uh they get shad, they get some uh, all different types of pellet from uh, Missouri, they eat a crap load. We still have my beautiful black um, tropical guard that's right over there that we got from Rod way back then. A lot of people had them, a lot of people I guess lost them, I don't know what the heck happened, but mine's doing absolutely great. My giant sturgeon over there that Rod um, dropped off as well, doing amazing. So enough talking with all these gorgeous fish right over here. 
we're gonna go to the freaking insane of the insane. My favorite pond, absolutely favorite. Oh, I just admitted it. My favorite pond in the ranch, right here. All my beauties inside of this thing. Let me go grab a broom to keep this net up so we can get a better, nice, clearer view. So these fish are absolutely ready. Every single one of these fish inside of here, I've kept and had. The oldest one is probably a year and a half old. As soon as my barn, my last barn caught up on fire and I lost all of my predatory fish before that, I went out and got fish. I kept them inside the house before I got this building. And I got all of these fish when they're about one to two inches at size. They're all becoming massive. We have Azul Peacock Bass in here. We have a beautiful Arapaima. Four of vinyl arowana, a beautiful cloud knife, iridescent shark, um, that noise, the giant high fins of um, sturgeons. Uh, what else do we have in here? Blackos. I mean, you name it. We have some pretty amazing, cool fish inside of here growing up, and they're doing great. So feeding these fish, I mean, they're they're freaking ready. These peacocks are looking gorgeous. All right, I'm. I sometimes get scared feeding you guys because this freaking it is top notch right here. But I like hitting. Um, the air pima first, so I decided to name him. I decided to name him what they call them out in South America, and that is Pyricha Piarichi. Paiche. Paiche. Means Pyra Air Pima in South America. So I decided to just name him his native name and Pyriche. There he is right there. My beautiful beast right there. He's just about or she. What do you think now? About three and a half, almost four feet. No, he's not that big yet, no, but I give her no, nah, exactly feet? three feet for sure. The girth is probably around six to seven inches girth, but um, definitely she's almost Long. tops eight months old, nine months old, the top. If you guys are following me at Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch, I posted the first video when I got her, just around four inches in large in size, and um, she's grown tremendously. I mean a lot, and she needs a big pond very soon. So let's hit her with a piece of food first, and then we'll feed everybody else. You guys ready? Take a look. Everybody just goes insane. Oh. Everybody is crazy. So what I like to do is make sure I throw a bunch of fish at one time because if not, people headbutt. I mean, they're just going psycho right now. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in here, and it's a fish trick. So they, I see the reason why I have to have the net. If I don't have the net, air wanos jump out and air pipe jumps out. So you have to be careful. And I just throw fish food all the way in the back so everybody can eat. It turns into a freaking wave pool in here. Absolutely insane beast and a half of fish. That air climber throws those fish around. So I'm gonna come back up. Air climber coming up. Boom, right there. Thing is trained. Peacock, that male peacock right there is crazy. He hits everything. He's always on freaking top of the water. Air climber, ready? Come back up. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Almost got me. That thing gives me chills, I swear. Now you wanna be calling. Not, oh my god, he almost got the air on his mouth. All right, but yeah, these, they're freaking insane. I love these fish. You can just see the size of her come up. Look at the size of her. Look at that. She just eats, she's a freaking garbage and it's insane how much these Arab climates can actually eat. Rod knows exactly, he has a full size adult almost. And I mean, they're probably eating individually, probably a full container just by themselves, each one of them. And I'm sure I'm 100% right. Watch this, watch this uh, peacock right here. Always eats. Always eats. He always freaking eats. Air Pima. Always eats. Everybody eats. I just sucked it right in. Nice and slow. We got a bunch more fish for them that they're gonna eat right now. We got shrimp and tilapia. We have ear. I mean, there's everything that's out here. Slow in the back. We actually got a brand new light on here too, a UVB light so they get that natural sun for them. Uh, unfortunately, in the state of Florida, when you're having these exotic fish, uh, some of them that are permitted, they have to be in an indoors facility. That's the reason, other reason why I got this massive building, so that these guys are indoors and nothing is outside. No water goes outside in any shape, form, 
type, straw, anything. Everything stays inside for them. And uh, I mean, yeah, these fish are amazing. Look at this peacock, man, I told you. Always right here, waiting. Always. He's the stud and a half. He is amazing. I mean, he's probably, say you not, 14 inches easy already. 14 inches easy. Beautiful azul peacock bass. There's four of them in here. He's the, the freaking uh, dominant male. There's one more smaller male, and then there's two uh, females. Definitely. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, that was a clown. The clown knife just came up and rolled. That was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video here. Feeding all the fish, showing you guys all the fish, and updating you guys on how everything is doing inside the fish gallery. If you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.